two babies come from? Like, how do we get here? When broken down, it's a simple thing. Every species reproduces, but in different ways. For humans to make a baby, there's lots of stuff that must be just right. But the two key players are the sperm and the egg. At puberty, everyone's body changes and becomes able to reproduce. At some point, between the age of 8 to 13, a person that is biologically a female starts ovulating. It's also called the menstrual cycle, or starting their period. About once a month, the ovaries release a teeny tiny egg into the fallopian tubes. If it's not fertilized after it's released, the egg is flushed out of the body during the period. When a person that is biologically male starts puberty, usually between 12 and 16, the testicles begin to make sperm cells. These cells travel in milky fluid created by another gland. This mixture is known as semen. This is the fluid that is released during an ejaculation. There are lots of ways a sperm and egg can get together and join. One of the most popular ways is when semen is released from the penis into the vagina. Once those little swimmers are in there, the sperm race through the vaginal canal, past the cervix, through the uterus, into the fallopian tubes. Sperm are drawn to the egg like a moth to a flame. Now, if you don't want to become pregnant when you have sex, there are a lot of simple ways to stop it from happening. We call this contraception. When you want to have a baby, sometimes people are not able to have a baby using the most popular method. When this happens, doctors could totally help them out, like using a tool to place sperm into the vagina near an egg. Or, a doctor can actually join the sperm and egg together outside of the body, and then place the fertilized egg into the uterus. All these methods achieve the same thing. The sperm and the egg get together and unite, becoming a single cell. This is called a zygote. As the zygote travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus, looking for a place to nest, this tiny ball of cells divides and multiplies over and over and over. If the zygote does not find a good nesting spot in the uterine lining, it passes out of the body during menstruation or the period. If the zygote does find a nesting place, this marks the moment when pregnancy actually begins, and the fetus starts to grow into what is called an embryo. The time it takes for a baby to develop is divided into three stages called trimesters. It takes an embryo about nine months or 39 weeks to develop into a fully developed baby. The zygote starts the size of a poppy seed and grows into the size of, well, a baby. Most of a pregnancy takes place in the warm and comfy uterus, also known as the womb. It has all the nutrients needed for that little ball of cells to develop into a fully formed body. During the 39th week, a fetus is considered full term. After about 9 months, a baby is generally ready to enter the world. There are several different ways a baby can make their appearance into the world. They usually come through the vagina, but sometimes, if necessary, doctors need to help them out. They do this by opening the uterus and removing the baby that way. This is called a cesarean section, or a C-section for short. Making babies is a natural part of life, and we all start from the joining of a sperm and egg. We're all more alike than you think.